is who um, also uh, pulls some um, strings behind the scene, helping the show go farther. Um, so thank you to everybody. Of course, to Facebook, the Ride or Die OG audience who um, has this conversation with Donovan and I for this next hour and a half as we uh, chop it up and talk about all things in the black community, which is what we do. We promote things that go on in the black community to make us an even better people. Black love, knowledge, and understanding. Yes. You name it, we're going to talk about it. And so um, while we're waiting for everybody to come on because, you know, people say, oh, my God, what are we talking about? I want to talk about my shirt. Can you guys read my shirt? Make, wait, no. my, my after girl summer. <laughs> Close. It says my girl summer. My girl summer. Okay. So some of you guys, most of you guys are probably like, oh my God, what is my yeah, girl what summer? Does that mean? Well, it's a play on words for hot girl summer. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Hot Girl Summer comes from Megan Thee Stallion. She's this rapper who's like a city girl is type um, rapper, uh, you know, talking about her lower regions a lot. And, you know, the, the same old, same old type of stuff. So she's coined the and phrase. And people are wiping these type, type of shit. Yeah, she's coined this phrase called Hot Girl Summer. So people been running around talking about they're going to have a hot girl summer. So yesterday I was like. I'd like to, you know, make a shirt, but what would I say? And I was joking with my daughter. I said, how about Hot Girl Summer? And she was like, no, Mom. I was joking, obviously. And I said, how about My Hot Girl Summer? And she was like, what is that? So My Hot is um, from Kemet, um, ancient Egypt. Uh, Ma is a goddess, a goddess of law and order, um, justice, righteousness, and all these other things. Um, um, as I said, being righteous and living upright and things like that and so I was like things okay. that the stallion isn't doing but exactly right. it's the opposite of a hot girl I'm imagining now um, nobody really knows exactly what a hot girl is but if it's coming from someone like Megan the stallion beautiful girl it's probably something to do with maybe being just a tiny bit ratchet I could be wrong forgive me if I am but I thought I would do a little spin on it and have it called my girl my girl like I said comes from Kemet ancient Egypt uh, she was a goddess of um, law and order, righteousness. You guys can look it up. There's also 42 laws of my art of how to live, um, righteous, just the basic stuff, don't, the do's and the don'ts of uh, being good and that kind of stuff. So anyway, I know I bored you guys with my little, <laughs> <laughs> my little history. So anyway, um, let's see, what do we have here? I want to say hello to everybody who was on here. I will go ahead and get started. I wipe the sweat off my face. All right, so if you guys can see the question, it says, will voting the Democratic way keep the racists away? That was me trying to rap a little bit, you know. Uh, will voting the Democratic way keep the racists away? Now, so far to date, there has been 251 mass shootings in America. Many of them have been done in the name of Trump. Within the last 24 hours, there were two mass shootings, like, no joke. Um, the first one was in El Paso, Texas, that claimed the lives of 20 people, and one in Ohio that claimed the lives of nine, with countless injuries in both cases. As you all know, Trump often uses very um, racist rhetoric when speaking to his base about certain other groups of people. Um, when are we going to start kicking some ass, like the old days? You know, if they, if they, if they want to bring it, let's bring it. You know what I mean? Okay. But, but we've been taught by Generation right. Fail. Lay your life down. It's okay. Turn the other cheek. Not me. Yeah. We need to start kicking oh. <laughs> some ass. Simple as that. Okay, so uh, we'll get to that. So during the pro uh, the protests in Charleston, uh, South Carolina, two years ago, about that, um, when white supremacist uh, groups were uh, clashing with protesters, Trump said there were very fine people on both sides. Now remember, there was a white supremacist who ran into the crowd with his car mm -hmm. and um, injuring many and killing one. And so Trump thought, you know, hey, instead of um, disavowing the racist, he said he thought he would just kind of play the middle of the road and say there are very fine people on both sides, right? Okay. So he uh, constantly throws fuel on the fire when it comes to racism by saying and tweeting things like, go back to where you came from, calling Mexicans murderers and rapists, attacking black leaders and the conditions of black communities, and calling Muslims terrorists, among a whole host of other racist things, right? Why not? Now, we find ourselves in a time in America where there's been more mass shootings than there have been days of the year so far, right? Mm. Uh, we're only on 200, uh, day 216. Again, there's 251 mass shootings that have taken place so far. Let that sink in. And it said there's, what, 350 million guns 
uh, in there are, America. There are more guns than people in America. More guns American, uh, than uh, more uh, people in America. Like, what, where the, what are we doing with all these guns, right? But anyway, so we've also seen many of Trump supporters being racist on many occasions, videos, you name it, out in public. They've called people names, spat on people, physically assaulted them, and even murdered, as we said earlier, in the name of Trump or MAGA. Now, Trump needs to go. I don't think that's a secret at all. Trump definitely needs to go, right? But what will happen to the racist once Trump is gone? Will voting for a Democrat make the racist magically disappear? They've um, done, um, the most they've done to Trump was pass a House resolution condemning him for telling the freshman squad, uh, remember we told him to go, go back to the country or whatever, um, uh, the most they've done was pass a, uh, was, uh, a resolution condemning him. I guess making it an official condemnation yeah, of censure. him. Yeah, censoring him being racist. And he's I still guess, doing it. So what is the censure? And he's still doing it. So the, the getting into history books doesn't change anything. Right, right. What did it got do it on to the record. you? Yeah, right. You got it on the record. Wow. Right. And so that's my next question. What has condemnation done for the rest of us? So it went into the history books as Donovan said that he, you know, is a racist jerk. Um, and I'm trying to clean up my language a little bit more here, so I use jerk. Um, and that does something, I guess, for the freshmen. Hey, you know, in our honor, you guys protected us. But what about the rest of us? We're all out here vulnerable, you know. Did it stop the MAGA crowd from being racist? So what are Democrats going to do differently if they were elected to the White House that they're doing now, especially for black people? Now, I don't want to get to your comments. And the reason why I kept it short, because I want to have a, a very long conversation, but I know... And I'm not like the sharpest tool in the shed. Not of it might be, but I'm not. <laughs> that Democrats are going to try to seize this Dummy moment. Oh, yes. not of were dummy crats. They're going to try to seize this moment um, as momentum. See, this is why you need to see, vote. For see, this, this is exactly why you need to vote. Uh, uh, you know, four more years of Trump. We got to do something about this. We got to get him out of office. <laughs> Who was that now? Uh, that's Uncle Remus. Uh, Uncle Remus, okay. <laughs> So they're going to try to seize on this moment uh, to say, uh, you know, the Democrats are for gun control and this, that, and the other, and we need more uh, stricter gun laws and all this other stuff. The NRA, you know, they're, all, you know, obviously uh, on the Republican side of life. Yes. It is said that uh, a lot of Republican senators and uh, Congress people are now starting to say, hey, um, okay, let's look at some stricter gun laws. I guess Lindsey Graham made a um, comment yesterday saying, okay, now it's time to actually do something else. That's right. So all you Negroes, uh, please line up and we've got a gift card for you and turn in your guns. Right. Or, yeah, to the grocery store. Yeah. Or something. Right, we'll local 7-Eleven. Yeah, but we're only going to do that in the black neighborhoods. Right. Exactly. And so they're saying now Trump would be the holdout. I guess um, before he ran for president, he was um, anti-guns or for uh, stricter gun laws. But it said that the NRA has given about $30 million to his mm -hmm. campaign. And so, as you see now, he's been pro-NRA uh, type of agenda. And so, um, what will the Democrats, what, what are they going to do differently once Trump leaves office? Are, like, are they going to, as I said, uh, uh, are the races going to uh, magically disappear? What's going to happen? What are they going to do differently? So, I will get to every last one of you guys' comments on here. And we're going to talk about some other stuff, so please uh, feel free to bring it up, and we will talk about it. What's up, Sydney? Uh, let's see here. And hello to everybody on there. And Sydney says, 251 mass shootings. How many Muslims, how many illegals, and one black man? Yeah, it's mostly been um, white males. It's just keep it real. It's mostly That's been a damn lie! <laughs> it's mostly been... What the majority uh, of, of white men do. That's a damn lie. Uh, uh, Irishman is not white. Uh, 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 you know, this person's not white. And, oh, he has a little bit of this, so that's not white either. How dare you? <laughs> that's what they're going to say. And uh, Trump was saying earlier, I guess he was, I was listening to the radio, so he was, I, I don't know, he was getting on the plane or something, where he was saying there's a lot of uh, mentally ill people yes. with mental illness um, that's responsible for this. And it's like, you just won't call it what it is, huh? And, and the only watching. person running for president I support, as you know, um, is FDR Democrat Bernie. Um, Bernie Sanders, nothing will change until America gets honest and tear down America's system of white supremacy and unregulated capitalism. Um, right. I agree with you on that. Um, is Bernie really the person to do that? I mean, again, voting for 
uh, a Democrat? Are they going to make racism go in? Now, I know, it's, you know, Bernie Sanders has been in the fight of uh, the civil rights movement and it's all consistent. those things. It's consistent. consistent. But Bernie's been in, what, uh, uh, Congress? Or? He's been in Congress since the 80s. What is what is he being in Congress since the eighties done for black people? That's my only thing, and we know that he's not for reparations, and so. I mean, well, now he is. Now he's oh. saying, um, you know, his his thing is this, his exact statement: giving black people a check. What why he's against the reparations as it's written in its form, and what people keep pronouncing is, you give a black person a check, that's the end of racism. We don't owe you nothing. Well, no, it's not the end of racism. But he says that's what's going to happen. It's like, okay, we paid our debt. Leave us alone. Think for yourself. Well, the crazy part is about that argument, um, as far as what you just said about Bernie Sanders, we were doing our own thing. You know, we all we had our money and was left alone. I posted an article, which many of you guys uh, know, about um, all the black towns and communities that were burnt down at the hands of white um, supremacists. I, like, I have to be careful what I say because I got warned the other day for something I said. Woo! Yeah, so I... Right, Facebook? <laughs> yeah. So, I got to be careful. I knew my letters would come in. Exactly. Um, but I, I, I posted the article about all the towns, the black towns that were burnt down and black people that were murdered at the hands of white supremacists who were just merely jealous of mm -hmm. black progress. And so... Um, it's easier to deal with racism when you have money, when you have yeah. your own, you know, freestanding community, and you don't have to deal with um, white uh, supremacists and, and and the oppressor as much. Right, and then a lot of you guys, if you follow on your page as well as on YouTube, I posted a video talking about black politicians. Black politicians themselves do very well, but it kind of showed you. Having a black politician, Maxine Waters, making $30 million when she first got there, he wasn't making anything, Elijah Cummings, all these people, they do well, but that is not the measurement of success for black people as a whole. But somehow, they've tricked us, the Democratic Party, billions of dollars has been given to, to non-incentivize us to do for ourselves. And like you said, that video kind of went hand in hand. Right. With, like We had all these things. There was more black wealth before the civil right. rights movement than there is now. So that's kind of where I'm at with Bernie Sanders. And Sydney says, 45 has woken up a nasty underbelly of the country that America so wanted to hide. The issue would not disappear, will not disappear. However, they have declared, as I said before us. and I'll say it again, we need guns in our community. We just need to educate ourselves on why we need them and how to use them properly, right? And so, um, let's see, uh, Neff uh, Tali, I hope I said that right, that uh, not mostly only. Mm -hmm. And he said, white is white, just the color um, is black. No, absolutely. But you know what, though? Um, I don't have a problem with the word black. Um, in uh, Kemet, uh, ancient Egypt, if you will, um, they had no problem with being um, called black. Well, here's the thing. And I hate when people do the thing, try to, you know, just... When you say white man, do you say Italian white man? Do you say German white man? No, you group them together because that's something incidental about that person. Correct. I'm a black man of ADOS descent. Fine. African, whatever. You got an Asian person who's, there's only five colors they have to recognize in the world, whatever it is. So all you're doing is using an uh, a adjective to yeah, describe not, something about Yeah, somebody. we're not saying we're black to be de derogatory. It's right. just who we are. You know, right. and clearly I'm not black, the color right. of black. If, if Dee was I, robbing a store, I'd say, well, it was a black woman. No, about, I think she was probably from the, um, the yeah. region of. Yeah, no, you're not going to do that. You're going to say it was a black woman, 5'2", right. voluptuous, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you know. Right. And then you say also it is planned, and I said the electoral college must fall first mm -hmm. for a real vote. Mm -hmm. um, and um, hey, Gloria said that okay, she's just uh, pinning the topic. Right. Um, let me see if I can pin that. Let me know if that oops uh, gets me guys' way there. All right, and Cindy says Trump was by me this weekend, five minutes away from me playing golf. Uh, and up here, the lower and upper middle class are taking it as we are in the civil yes. war. Yeah, I mean, and then even still, when he was going wherever he's going, he said, I'll address the whole um, uh, shooting issue Monday. Exactly. No, you're president of the United States. At least one of them that we know of that's been confirmed, the one in Texas, is doing it in your name. So what, you're going to wait until Monday to yeah, deal course, with it? because you got to have his people spin it, make sure the spin works and it doesn't fall back on it. I and mean, he just doesn't give it in. Because he didn't go after the black folks, but he doesn't represent us. He's not worried about that. 
Yeah, but I'm saying you, you're the president, but you're going to deal with the shooting issue Monday yeah, morning. Yeah. And I work, my office hours are That's from it. 9 to 5. And then, and then 9 to 5, he's watching TV uh, two-thirds of the time. Right. So what work is this man actually doing? Hey, Tay, you know, you're right on time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Neftali, I hope I'm saying this right, he says every politician is about some form of money. You better believe it. Money. Po politics is power. Absolutely. And then uh, Hey Dean says, will not um, ever vote Democrats ever again. Mm. Um, and then Cindy says, quick question, how much was the, um, the budget for Baltimore the last time 30 years? You said, how much was the budget? Um, I think from what I heard, the, what they gave Baltimore was like uh, almost eighteen uh, billion dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if that's what you're asking, I mean, and you said to uh, Donovan, uh, put the phone down. <laughs> Donovan doesn't have his phone. No, no, that, that, that was my gun. Oh, oh yeah. That, uh, hey, Brandy, uh, he says turning your gun so we can carry you um, in uh, female camps. Yeah, I mean, yep. how camps. was uh, and that's uh, female a uh, female camps is what she meant. Um, yeah. Time, you want to How time. will we protect ourselves? Mm -hmm. Everybody else's communities are protected, but they only, that's Dr. Claude Anderson's ideology, by the way, that you only see the turning your guns uh, campaigns in the neighborhoods, the black communities, mm -hmm. you know, as if we're the ones that's causing all the world destruction. Indeed, as I said, we do it in our own neighborhood, but we're not doing what they are doing. But, hey, Eric. That's a misnomer, too. There's just as much black on black oh, as there is white on white. Yeah, because I just don't want nobody to say, well, you know, well, black people are killing black. We know that, but to your point, yeah, it's not black on black crime is not a thing, per se. And then um, Eric said, them are real racists. They love bringing it up and pointing at others. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, we know what you meant, Brandy. Uh, and then Dean says, arm yourself, black people, if you're responsible, rather you're a felon or not. I mean. Here's what I got to say. Disclaimer, arm yourselves legally, but defend yourself any way you have to. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and Charles says, Trump is exactly the perfect man as president, the physical embodiment of America's system of white supremacy. Trump has only been president since January 2017. 17. America has been, uh, let's see. See that? <laughs> Uh, okay, America has been a white supremacist nation since the birth of America. Bernie is for um, a real federal job, guaranteed federally funded, and locally and Medicare for all. Um, when we attach our belief and wants and reparations and assign people as not being for blacks cause is non-productive. We know who our friends and enemies are. We have few friends. Uh, we blacks are our own worst enemy. We will never have a president with a black agenda first and his social economical uh, platform. We are our solution, but we are too fragmented. We can't eradicate this goddamn white Jesus addiction to ever do anything on the wholesale things to be the solution. I mean, I agree with that. You said a whole lot. Ultimately, we do need to do for self. It is a save ourselves type of situation. But again, we need to stop telling the lie that black people have never been self-sufficient. Because we have been self-sufficient. We've seen it over and over again. We know that when civil rights came along, that was kind of the, the, the lapidation of black communities. But it's like, because when I hear people say they use the bootstrap analogy, black people need to pull themselves up by the bootstrap. I'm like, are you kidding? We've been doing that. It's just that people keep stepping on the damn bootstraps. Mm -hmm. exactly. And so um, I... I guess we'll never have a president, because you, you, you unpacked a lot there, so I'm trying to think of all that you said, that will have a 100% um, uh, black agenda, but if you want the black vote, you better be taking some black stuff with you, like you take everything else for the gays and Muslims, Hispanics, and women, everybody else, you need to take some of our stuff up there too and actually get some stuff done. Yes. yes. And then Cindy says, why are people laughing? Um, I don't see those laughing emojis. It's probably some um, trolls, I'm sure. And Al says, you never guess what the problem was not the battery of the starter. He didn't have any gas. <laughs> <Talk Wrong. about> <laughs> he went to help somebody. They thought the battery died. It was because it, <laughs> it was out of gas. What's happening, Jonelle? He says hello, our, Donovan and fam. Our new men. Stop. And Cindy says, secondly, one of your trolls were in my inbox. I sprayed that bug spray though. <laughs> <laughs> well, send me that bug spray because I need it. 
Oh, mm. uh, and Charles said, sorry about the long post. No, no, no don't be sorry. Express yourself. Exactly. Get it, let it all out. Uh, and Cindy says, put that damn gun down on Facebook. You're still black in America, fool. Hey, but I get a pack because I was in the military. <laughs> They are, they're not going to care, okay? <laughs> Just so you know. Right. Um, I'm one of their own now. Right. Highly trained. Oh, yeah, yeah, one of they, the, when, when it gets really bad, they drop me in, into the center of it. You want your N-word wake-up call? <laughs> no, I, well, no, I already know that. See, okay. I already know the situation. <laughs> That's why I take advantage. And uh, uh, Jonelle yeah. says, uh, Trump is a businessman getting paid by the Zionist bankers that print the money and run um, the businessman. Absolutely. And Al says, what in the world does your... Um, a, a, you're a dime in the shirt says, my shirt says, Ma'at, girl, summer. And I explained that earlier. Ma'at is um, a goddess, um, an ancient Kemet, ancient Egypt, rather, uh, Kemet um, goddess, who is the um, goddess of law and order and things like that. And so I'll explain to you guys a little bit later on. And Eric, uh, you say, what's happening, Chris? Eric says, anytime black come together, white people come in and shoot it down. Now, absolutely. And so, again, I don't see any more comments, and so we got to stop telling that lie that, oh, black people, uh, we need to learn how to uh, pull ourselves up by the bootstraps. We've already done that. We've done it. A history shows that we pulled ourselves up by the bootstraps. I mean, you think about it. Coming out of slavery, coming through the Jim Crow era, black people built communities, and I'm not talking about just like a block. We're talking about communities where there were hospitals, uh, grocery stores, just, you know, any and everything we needed. Banks, we were self-sufficient. And in all the stories, most of the stories, it, the root of that, or the excuse was to, to tear down these communities was some black man did something to some white woman. And all hell broke loose, right? And then Charles says, I like trolls. Trump come my, uh, trolls come my way. Um, I am a reformed troll. <laughs> um, I don't like necessarily enjoy trolls per se, but you know, you sometimes just gotta ignore them. And Jonelle says, voting has never kept a racist away, nor has it, oops, it says, uh, nor has it changed anything. It's black community self-empowerment um, that transforms things to our benefit. The Black Panther, the Nation of Islam, watch rights, etc. Uh, things of this nature have brought us some change. We need to recognize our self-empowerment. No, absolutely, um, we need to re-recognize our self-empowerment because we already recognized um, our empowerment back in the day. We just need to find it again. It's like my generation, which you know, I'll be 50 in a, like a year and a half or so, and the generation under us really don't know what that's like. Our, like my parents' generation, they knew what that was like. Empowerment, we just lost um, the sense of what that is, really. And so, Cindy says, I doubt the man in Ohio went to the victims before shooting uh, and say, I am a Democrat. I doubt the man in El Paso said, I am a Democrat. I doubt when they were hanging us, they said, wait, I am a Democrat. So, um, can we stop with saying it's Democrats and Republicans party for black folks? Um, can we call the spade the spade? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's fair. But at the same time, I mean, we, if we're going to call a spade a spade, we also need to recognize that it is uh, people who, I'm assuming if you're a Trump supporter, you're probably also a Republican, that are doing this. And they're not even, um, I'm like, they're proud to say it. I'm, you know, and I'm paraphrasing, but this is uh, for Trump. I'm doing it because they, li you listen to like the guy that did the murdering in uh, El Paso. He's using the, all of the rhetoric and the talking points that Trump and the MAGA crowd uses. They, they're they mad at the illegal immigrants. Um, they didn't want them to continue coming over, taking over Texas, and he was mad at that. Um, Mexicans coming over, taking over Texas. He wanted to keep things pure and white, didn't want any um, race mixing. So those are talking points of white supremacists who tend to agree with Trump. So um, who Trump happens to right now be a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys think that anything's going to happen to Trump after he leaves office, you're sadly mistaken. He's talking to you, Cindy. <laughs> sadly mistaken. And uh, Al says, uh, put uh, Duke and Bell on camera. Uh, that, <laughs> those are the dogs. Uh, and let's see here. Charles says, oops. Charles says, um, I love that the black church asked the Coon Ben Carson to leave their grounds. Yeah, did you see that? Mm -hmm. Where I guess he was supposed to do a speech or something. And it was like, yeah, you got to go. 
Yeah. But there's some black churches who are welcoming, you know, mm-hmm. those things and, and defending Trump, as you yeah, said. Yeah, they want their butter biscuits. Um, Bernice. Um, yeah, Bernice King. Or not, not, not Bernice King. Uh, the, the, Dr. King's niece. The out. It starts with an A, mm-hmm. not Bernie's. Uh, right. Yeah, they're saying that Trump is not a racist. I don't think he's a racist. As I get my butter back. It's the same trick. It's not, you know, what it is is we've been taught the Steve Harvey's, oh, just give him a chance. Whatever. They send these people out to see if it's going to work. It's going to work on some of us, but they're, they're finding out it's not working like it used to. It would have worked back in the day, mm-hmm. maybe on maybe our parents' generation, yeah. because Mal- uh, Mark- Malcolm X spoke about those things, and he said that, and obviously that was during our mm-hmm. parents' generation, they always send a half a loop Negro, and I'm paraphrasing, up to you know the White House or whatever mm-hmm. to speak on behalf of black people, and then that person comes out and says, oh, he's all right, mm-hmm. like I said give them a chance and so it's not necessarily working on us because right. we're more awake and we're like wait a second right you know you, you got your butter biscuits and right the Kamala you want Harris us to get the thing. notice Kamala Harris did not refute anything that Tulsi said because her record has been out there she has never said I mean it's just funny that you know that you know instead of like refuting the record she wants to deflect and say oh She's been elitist. She sounded like a Hillary Clinton when she did that. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's only polling at, you know, percent. So she's just Oh, yeah, that was horrible. Ah. And John L says, find a solution, work, and unify, destroy the problem, keep building. Absolutely. Let me ask you guys this. Just think about this, okay? This is one of those deep, like, aha mm-hmm. moments. Okay. When is the last time you heard Trump go after Asians? When? When is the last time you've heard anything? Not saying that he doesn't think those things, but I, yeah. I, I could be wrong. Well, I ain't talking about, you know, fighting with China. Yeah. So I ain't no, no, talking about, no. talking about yeah. you know, Asians over here. When was the last time you heard him say anything well, bad or, you know, crazy about Asians? Yeah, here's, here's the funny thing that, that you bring that up as a military person. Those of us in the military, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, damn. You, you will God. find an Asian in uh, South Dakota, North Dakota, because they're, you know, they married military men. And they will marry some of the most racist white men they can find to, to assimilate into our culture. So so as racist as a white man is, he's quick to put his dingling into a inferior person and dominate and that person. And he said inferior with quotes, you guys. Right. Um, uh, but the point that I was making about that is because they are unified people. They're pretty unified. Mm-hmm. You know, they just, they're just going about doing their thing. They're taking they're for granted. Mm-hmm. You know, um, Asians are the fastest growing um, race of people in America. There they're, are they're, more Asian millionaires than any. They are moving in, the in silence, not getting involved in all that stuff. And so, to your point, Jonelle, I agree. If we unify, this will just be like, well, Trump did what? Who? But they don't want us cares? to unify. That's the whole right. game. They Got don't it. want us to do that. And Eric, you say. White women are the most dangerous human on the earth. Who are you telling? Wow. That's all I'm going to say about that is wow. And Al says, I love to meet her with small earrings, but not those big ass pairs. <laughs> the hoops. And they have the same, but I won't repeat it about yeah. hoops. <laughs> it doesn't apply to me. I just like big hoops, though. Yes, yes. And Gauz, uh, Jerry, said, politics is BS, in my opinion, just saying, on the Republican and Democratic side, Get along and fix America. Yes. Absolutely. And to John L's point, and to your point, if we unify, none of this would even matter. Yeah. But See, well, because all this is a distraction. Because if you think about it, nothing in America is getting done. Nothing is getting done. We're in endless wars. The Democrats, whoa, it was a war. Trump, uh, I'm sorry, Trump, uh, Bush, these are all the same people. He's a war criminal. Did they hold him to task? No. I mean... Right. Our streets are messed up. We keep giving tax cuts to people who don't need tax cuts and letting the poor man pay right. for it. The monster that? says, tell Al to stop hating on the ghetto who's right. <laughs> and Donnell says, if they're shooting masses of people and being token, uh, taken alive, why uh, we think Trump is going to have anything happen to him by them? Mm-hmm. God may be, but not those invested in him and the, um, the shooter. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you guys, I made a post that was a little bit on the vulgar side yesterday, mm-hmm. but I really think he gets off on hearing that people are murdered in his name. I don't really, I can like see him like, of course he's going to come out to us and put up a front like, oh gosh, this is horrible, it's very, very, very sad, and, you know, sad day in America, but he's probably like, damn. Have you guys ever seen the movie? They're the, doing this for me, have you, you know? ever, have you guys ever seen the movie The Omen? Yes. And, you know, the Omen series, mm-hmm. and, I, and I think it's Omen 3 that came mm-hmm. out. And it starred that, what's his name, real handsome uh, uh, actor. 
who's in Hunt for Red Red October, I forgot his name, but anyway. Not Robert Redford. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. He was, uh, I, okay, he was in Jurassic Park. Okay. The lead actor in Jurassic Park. He was the guy, he played Damien. That's what Trump is. A man, man of privilege. He's on yeah, <laughs> you know, a man of privilege. Uh, you're right, he does get off on that. Right, that, that's of course devil, he does. That's devilish He gets behavior. off on that, mm -hmm. absolutely. And Cindy says, because he thinks they are smart. And Eric says, I don't think Trump is a racist. He asked, he attacks anyone who attacks him. When was the last time an Asian said something about Trump? And see, I should have read your comment, but when is the last time Trump said anything about them? So yeah, I agree that he does attack people. But he is a racist, he can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, um, I, I think that's where it, where it does kind of stem from people attacking him. But even still, I mean, gosh, presidents, are, if they get attacked by the, you know, right. people all the time, but you're supposed to be presidential and, 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 and that you don't get in the mud with people, right? right? And, and here's the thing, is it an attack or is it the truth? Right. Yeah, yeah, Trump has, has shown that I, where was the pig pen? I'm going to jump in mm -hmm. with you, you know? Mm -hmm. And Cindy says, history repeats itself. Trump was a black and Hispanic, uh, you say he was with a black yeah. and Hispanic woman, a woman but right I now. am the least racist person you know. Right, yeah, there's a woman right now, a black woman, that has a lawsuit that, that was uh, going to move forward. Do you guys realize Trump is either, they say he has over 30 litigation cases. Yeah. Either he, either him being the plaintiff, because he's trying to stop them getting his taxes, right. and the women that are, uh, uh, and people that are plaintiff against him. Right. It's, uh, it, you know, it's just unheard of. But yet, the ev evangelicals, oh, he's a man of substance. But I'm gonna say really? this though, like I think, and I think, from what we've seen, Trump is a racist. No, there's no doubt about that. I, I don't know how anybody can defend that. Right, but I think he pours it on heavy because that's what the people want. Give the people what they want. Mm -hmm. Give them that old, let's, you know, send them back to their own right. country. And, and, and he you knows, know, Muslims are terrorists. Yes. Uh, Hispanics are rapists. Because right. he knows when he leaves office in six years that nothing's going to happen to him. Right. Because if you do to him something as he leaves office, that's going to set a precedent. Then, then we're going to become a banana republic. Right. Right. So he's, he's well aware of that. And Charles says we should have burned this mother down back in the 1993, 94, after the 94 Rodney King beating and acquittal. We should have burned this motherfucker down after the Freddie Gray, Eric Gardner, mm -hmm. uh, Trayvon Martin, mm -hmm. um, see Trayvon Martin, uh, Sandra Bland murders, mm -hmm. and every terrorist cop murdering black people. We should riot all these immigrant stores sucking our uh, economic mm -hmm. blood out of our communities. Okay. There should be massive civil unrest by yep. us and the poor white and middle class being exploited by the American oligarchy. But see, the problem is we always use the analogy of the frog in the boiling water. Mm -hmm. You put the frog in the water and it's cold and, you know, it's kind of kicking and doing some backstrokes. Then you turn the water on a little bit and it's getting a little warm. It's like, gosh, it's getting a little uncomfortable and it gets hotter and hotter and hotter. And the frog adjusts and then eventually it boils to death. Yeah. And that's where we are in America. Um, for, for a uh, perfect example, is things out here. We get mad, oh my God, you know, gas is so high, but we get used to it. Exactly, and we, we pay it. We and we to pay it. And so you're right. Um, we should stop taking those things right. to say but, the least. But, but ask yourself this. Why are we so passive? To be passive, like, you have to be taught to be passive like that. Yeah, well... Generation fail. Where do you think that we got that from? Generation fail. Generation fail taught us, oh, just work with them and pray for them and love them. Let them beat your head in. You might lose your life, but... Right. One day, they're going to see their, their ways are wrong and wicked. Are you going to go up to glory? Bye, yes. bye. Get some high right. in the sky. Right. Yeah, boy, it'll be so you have a whole generation, several generations of black people that have been taught that way. Right. You know, so... And, you know, you guys, like, I follow uh, the Black Panther Party of Milwaukee. Is that the one, or is it Ohio? Ah, uh, this is Milwaukee. Okay. And these brothers and sisters, like, they're, Well, that's me, one that they shut down the stores. Yeah, yeah, but they can't keep the stores closed. Because mm -hmm. people, black people, keep going back into these stores and uh, giving them their money after these people have done heinous things to kids and uh -huh. things like that. And I tell him on his post often, that you guys should have a waiting list of people wanting to join you. Why aren't, you know, isn't your organization busting at the seams of people dying to get in there and help no, you? No, you want to know why? Because we have a whole generation, several generations of young black adults now that have been raised uh, by these independent women who bought into the 
and, and the men are being irresponsible to take it on both sides. We need each other. That, you don't need no man. There's nobody to defend. There's nobody to think. And, and we're both at fault. The question is, when are we going to say enough is enough and start talking about, you know what? Yeah, you can still be an independent and strong woman, but you need me just as much as I right, need you. Right, because we got to start teaching that message to each other on an individual basis. We always talk about that. Stop trying to go save the world right. and save the people next to you, right? And uh, Jonelle says, right, uh, right, every action of wickedness done by this European Zionist owned Americans putting its future to pure void. Um, as those outside this nation is watching, Mexico may just build that wall. You know, it's mm -hmm. funny because I was telling my daughter that. I'm like, why would anybody from uh, Mexico want to come over here? They're like, you're a target. Right. Y'all should be building a wall. Well, like, we, you're right. Let's let's keep building a wall so we stay out of that moment. Well, what did I say? Even before the wall was being built, when it, when he was talking about it. Trump ain't building the wall to keep the Mexicans out. He's building the wall to keep us in here. Because a lot of us are ready to go. <laughs> right. Agreed. And Cindy says, Trump said, I want Jewish man counting, I want Jewish man counting his money. I want an agent to be in my finance department. They good with money. Well, now. Stereotypical. Well, I see, mean, and, and see, and here's another thing. Everybody keeps forgetting this. If you're talking for a, a, a Asian that just got here and they immigrated here, they practice group economics. Mm -hmm. I, I live in a Hispanic neighborhood and I have a neighbor who immigrated here. I don't know if he's legal or not, but he, he can't speak English. He's been here for 20 years. He can't speak English. But anyway, <laughs> he complains to me all the time that his son doesn't want to do things. See, so when Trump says that, oh, Asians are good with money, when these kids come here and they're the first and second generations, they're ruined because they want to be, they become Americanized. And so a lot of their values just fall off. So that is not a true statement Okay. in general. Because I don't care where you're from, when they come here, they lose their values and they become Americanized and they become fucked up. Just as fucked up as any American that's born, raised, and dies here. It's a fact. Look it up. How many <laughs> Hispanic... Right over there? No, 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 but think about it. From here being from California. How many Hispanic born, raised, Hispanic kids here in California are out there working in the fields? They refuse. Shit, I don't blame them. You know, but you, but you know what I mean? You know, you're know, the typical no, thing. They yeah. want to work with their hands. They're removed they from don't the struggle. Want to do They're removed from yeah. the struggle, yes. Yeah. And Al says, at least two earrings, uh, two small earrings, not those bamboo pair. Ready, L L Cool J. And well, she, she's giving you some talons to mount up. <laughs> right. Cindy says, I keep telling you, uh, New York City is a completely uh, different animal. Absolutely. Kind of no, I understand that. Says, name New a city who changed the laws for um, an unknown uh, indictment. Yeah, uh, New York City is the only city that I'm aware of that segregates itself with the different boroughs. All those boroughs are segregated. The Jews are on one side, right. the Italians are on one side, the blacks are on the other, you know. I agree with you. I'm not, I'm not arguing in that case. You guys are a different animal. We need to cut you guys off like Escape from New York. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so. Cindy says, it's, um, it is just not black people who are indoctrinated. Americans yeah. indoctrinated. No, yeah. absolutely. America is Everybody's That's, indoctrinated. Everybody that comes here is indoctrinated. But because we're indoctrinated as black people, we suffer the most. Yes. That's ADOS. a fact. AD, the ADOS, not right. these other Negroes. I can't remember who it was. Was it Charles that made the comment about Christianity and white Jesus? Can you, like, what was it? There was a, a, a picture trending on the internet last week of um, in Africa somewhere. I don't know what part, but there's a white Jesus, some white man portraying Jesus yeah. and these black women. It was in Kenya. It was in Kenya. They were enamored by this dude, and it's yeah. like. He, he was invited to the celebration, and everybody's like, oh, he's here. Oh, my gosh. But, but here in California, you will find second and third generation Hispanics, they're fighting harder to keep the, the Mexicans out, their cousins, oh, better believe it. Than, right. than anybody. Yeah. Yeah. And Jonelle says, the reality is this nation has fallen like Babylon. We must recognize that as a, na a black uh, nation within it, it's build our own reality and stop American dreaming in that mm. which has uh, zero, oops, I'm trying to get the rest of this comment, zero, oops. Yeah, it's blocked. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, which has zero furtherance by what it has uh, sold, alone as the evil it's still sowing for security about self endowment uh, for us as a black nation. Mm. Absolutely. Yep, deep. That's deep. And so, um, yeah, I don't see any more comments. 
go. Okay, there it goes. There we go. And he also say, who owns and runs New York? The Zionists. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So, I mean, at the end of the day. Poor Trump can't go back there. Damn, when he leaves office, he has to go straight to Florida. <laughs> at the end of the day, we, like, we got to stop depending on everybody else. It is obviously election, not election season. And uh, not necessarily Republicans, because as you said, Republicans know they don't have us. The yeah. Democrats need us. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. And so I think we just need to be wise and not let them try to use this whole little, um, the need for gun control, because we do to some degree. Mm -hmm. We need gun control. Um, don't let them use that as a, a means to sway us and making us think it's our responsibility. Hey, you vote for us, we're going to do something. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Mass shooting is happening, and somehow black people are responsible? We got to give up our guns? Well, that's just because uh, somebody said we are indoctrinated. Everybody else is indoctrinated, but it, it affect, uh, the indoctrination um, affects us um, worse, if you will. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Like white people going to church and watch, worshiping white Jesus, well, hell, that's an image like them. Mm -hmm. Us going to church and white, worshiping white Jesus, what does that do for us exactly? Right, indoctrination. I'm just asking. Uh, a good episode of Good Times. Watch that one, Black Jesus. It's called the episode's called Black Jesus. Yeah. And that's when the Black Jesus was up, and all the good things were happening to the Evans family. Yeah, and all and Florida, Florida was, was like, fighting hey, it. Yeah, yeah, she was fighting it. This is the only Jesus I know. <laughs> Sad, but that shows you the brainwashing that has taken place. Right. And Al says, "Hey, Donald, since you got on that Good Times, JJ had. Oh, you mean Donald?" <laughs> yeah. Um, since you got on that JJ, uh, good time JJ hat, can you impersonate him? Dino Mike! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> see, he says, here's the issue with social media. Uh, it said, here is the reality that white Jesus that was trending in Kenya was fake, never happened. Kenya said it was fake. Thank God. Mm. Okay, we, like, we know it wasn't really Jesus and everything right. like that, but what, what gives, man? What was, what was that even about? Right. I'm interested. Since they said it was fake mm -hmm. and that they weren't really worshiping him, what was it about? Can you enlighten me? Like, what was it about? Why would exactly. he even be around the white Jesus in the black, exactly. like, continent? Why? And then uh, you also say he ain't safe in Florida. New, New York uh, PD will send the, them to go, uh, the team to go get him. Mm. Like that, huh? So you're thinking that once he steps down from being the president, they're going to get him? Is that what you're saying? I don't think so. Do you firmly believe that? And also, at the end of the day, I watch TV and talk to you for an hour. <laughs> what? And then Charles says, and the truth is, we don't want to do what needs to be done as far as taking our communities back from the criminal um, elements within our, let's see, within our community. Some drug dealers uh, made legal sales system, but some are just addicted to the fast money. Absolutely, mm -hmm. I mean, but again, um, I don't know why we, well, I, I know why we become so docile, but I mean, I, I don't tell you guys the story since I'm waiting for another comment. Um, I talked about it on Facebook the other day. Uh, as my daughter and I were driving down the street, my daughter notices that there was a little boy, um, and she said, he has a gun. But, you oh, know, yeah, I saw she that. thought maybe it was, she kind of figured it was a toy gun. And so I was doing something on my phone, and I didn't see it, and I said, turn around. And as I said that, I saw the police also going the opposite way. And I said, let's turn around, try to get to the little boy before mm -hmm. the police sees him. So for whatever reason, I guess the little boy probably had put the gun away. But when we did a U-turn, he had the gun out. And when he saw me slowing, uh, my daughter pulling over to the car, he started to put the gun back mm -hmm. in his pocket. And so I say to him, I said, come here. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, damn, you know, I don't want people to think I'm going to snatch somebody's mm -hmm. kid or something. It's a little black boy. And I said, come here. And he looked. So he came over to the car. I said, is that a gun you're playing with? And he says, yes. I said, it's a toy gun, huh? He says, yeah. And I said, have you heard about all the things that are going on with black men and uh, boys at the hands of police? And he says, yes. Because I didn't want to freak him out yeah, too bad. Right. I asked him how old he was. My daughter thought he was older. He said he was eight. Where's his parents at eight years old running around and with a toy And he gun. was with some friends, and it was getting dark. Yeah, you know? but that's what I'm saying. Where yeah. are the parents? So I talked to him about the gun and, you know, why it um, wasn't good for him to have. How dare you talk to my child? Who do you think you are talking to my baby? Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I just did what I thought was best, you know. And so instead of, because I was going to take the gun regardless, but instead of taking the gun from him, I offered him $10. I said, I'm going to give you $10. Let me have your gun. And he said, okay. 
And I said, please don't ever do that again. I said, because, you know, your life may depend on it. So hopefully, Absolutely. you know, that helped. But so the point that I'm making is we got to stop being afraid to reach out to our own people. And we need to reach out to that parent and say, you don't be leaving your child out here. It takes a community. Yeah, but it's because people have also said different things to me, too, about, well, you know, well, what if it was a real gun? You can't just be walking up on people. I said, listen, I don't think about stuff like mm -hmm. that. I'm not saying I'm superwoman or anything like that. But see, but they're sowing fear into your head. Yeah, your and head. I'm like, I don't I don't operate out of fear. What I was more in fear of is that we know that Tamir Rice also had a, uh, I guess it was a BB mm -hmm. gun or toy gun. Within two seconds of the police officer Arriving. driving up on him, they pop, murdered pop. him in an open and carry state. And so I didn't have time to say, well, what if it is real? What if he does right. shoot me? You know what I mean? Now, my concern was more for this little boy who, mm -hmm. you know, had no clue of, of the ramifications of what he was doing. Right. And so I wanted to make it clear. I had a lot of things going through my head like, man, what if somebody thinks I'm trying to snatch this little mm -hmm. boy? Um, what if his mom does come up? But I had to deal with the immediate circumstances. Right. And I didn't want to come to him and say, little boy, where is your mom at? Do you know your, do your mama know you ain't? Because I didn't want to scare him. I wanted to get the message across to him as fast as possible. And so... Hopefully that worked, right? So anyway, let's get back to it. Um, get off my little soul box here. And Cindy says, no, you, mis you misinterpreted. He was never in Kenya. It never happened. It was a fake image that was made. So it was like a Photoshop type of thing. Is that what it was? If we're talking about the same one, okay, well, all right, got it. So that's good to know. I don't know why anybody would want to circulate something so stupid, you know? And Al says, you keep saying at the end of the day. Well, at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and Jonelle says, that was dynamite, Donovan. <laughs> and Al says, the little boy had that gun, was Marshall Dillon and y'all neighborhood market in Dodge City. Huh? You're like going here with me. And uh, Chris, Christopher, what's happening? Says, that could have been his life. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And Jonelle says, that was life saving. Yeah, I mean, we got to stop being afraid of our people. That baffles me. That we are so afraid, afraid of our people. We buy into the talking points of white supremacy of black people are bad. Oh, you know, black men, you got to clutch your purse. Or you got to walk on the other side of the street. Or, you know, they're homeless. Don't talk to them. I, I, me and my daughter, we go walking a lot. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of homeless people in the area where we walk. That's I'll it. talk to them all the time. Me too. Me I too. mean, just to have a conversation with them. we got to stop being afraid of our own mm -hmm. People, if we don't reach them, nobody else is going to reach them. Well, put it like this. If we don't give a damn, we know the white man right, don't give a damn. Right, So, I mean, it just needs to be done. And then, let's see. Um, Jonelle says, it was, it's really on us to beat that awareness and love our people. Um, need now, now, just imagine if someone did that for Tamir Rice. Absolutely. Mm. How many people, not to blame anybody for his death, other than where the, the, the blame Blame's should be, and that's on the murder police. Mm -hmm. But how many people saw him playing with that gun and thought nothing of it? We live in a day and age in that any parent, especially black parents, should not be buying their children toy what guns. That is, like, because I was explaining to my daughter, I said, imagine if the police saw this little boy, they would have been well within their rights to say, we thought it was a gun. Right. And um, he had it out. And he was, mm -hmm. you know, he's playing with other little kids. You know, he was a danger. And, and so I fear for my life. I feel for my life, you know. Um, another thing that we got to start doing, black people, aunts and uncles, has drugs been in our community? Yes, it's always been. When I was coming up, they went behind closed doors and we never saw it. I never can say I saw my aunts or uncles or anybody smoke weed or do anything like that in front of me. I'm an uncle. I make sure what I do and what my nieces, when they observe me, I'm not doing anything that they think is going to be acceptable that could be detrimental to them in the future. So we have to start doing better as an example to our younger people. So if you got a nephew out there and you out there uh, smoking them tweeds, <laughs> you know, do you think that that's going to be a good example for him? And then when he gets to the age he sees you doing it, you're not correcting him. Yeah, he's gonna do it. You can't parent from that. Don't do as I do. Yeah, as you I can't. Say, that has never worked. Yeah, you, ever. You, you, you can't do that. If, if uh, uh, mama is bringing in man after man in front of the daughters, what do you think she's gonna do? Right. Do as you do. Right. You right. know what happened to wait until late and all the kids sleep? 
Then sneaking the man in the door. You know what I mean? Whatever you're gonna this be doing. This is Uncle Ryan, right. y'all. It ain't what you do; it's how you do it. Right. And I, hey, I'm with but, you, brother. But, but, but so many of us, we co-sign, and then we say, "Yeah, a uh, little Ray Ray. He went straight to jail. I don't know where he got that from." You think? Right. I, hey, brother. Hey, man. So what you saying is you smoke your crack in the back? Yeah. <laughs> A couple years ago, I had to really think long and hard about that last part, the Hispanic supremacy. But like, I don't know where you live, Christopher, but we live in California. They have taken it, over. Man. Well, they didn't take over. They 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 retaken. Well, not even not even taken over, but there is a uh, uh, Hispanic supremacy. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's like they hire their own. Well, they're supposed to. But just even how they look at you and mm -hmm. deal with you, they're rude and just, man, I, like, I'm a fighter, you guys. I haven't been in a fight since I was 21, but I be feeling the incredible home mm -hmm. come up in me like, you better say excuse me. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to just bump into me yeah, and um, not say nothing. Excuse me. Yeah. We, we'll fight. Yeah, you know, and, and, you know, <laughs> you know and, 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 and I know this sounds bad, but, 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 but to your point, when I was coming up, there was no near, there was no need to be afraid of a five-two Hispanic man. He's five-two. And you know what? You know what I mean? And and you know, even to the day, the guy's still five-two, but they think they can whip some ass. And what it is is, even if there's three of them, they try to intimidate you, and you're just like, well, I'd be like, no, but get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you ain't scaring nobody. You know what I mean? But yeah. But, you know, they think it's theirs. You know, this is what, you know, no. I was somewhere the other day, and this man. I don't know if he was, I think he might have been Jewish or Hispanic. I'm not really sure what he was. He was trying to talk to his friend who I guess was on the other side of me. He like just mm -hmm. be like um, moved in front of me and then said, excuse me. I said, excuse you. Get out of my way, And bitch. he goes, oh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And my daughter's like, hurry up. Come on, let's go. Let's yeah. go. Have you ever she been saw I was about to wait, turn up. Wait, wait. Have you ever been in a store, let's say Walmart or Target, and you're looking at your item and you're in like. People come and stand right yeah. in front of you as if you're not. I'm one of those people y'all can't be in front of too long because when that kind of stuff, if my daughter tell you, she'll be like, come on now, don't turn up. And I'm like, no, because they need to understand. I'm you somebody. Don't, you don't disrespect me. Right. No, no, you need not disrespect me. <laughs> I'm visible. I'm here. I'm somebody. I don't even give a damn if you know I'm somebody. You're right. not going to disrespect me. Right. Like you said, if you see I'm standing here. Right. I now, see, you know, you got me going on one with that um, Hispanic supremacy mm -hmm. thing. You see me standing here, you don't reach over me, and as if you don't see me because if you catch one to the throat, right. then I'm going to be wrong. Right. You exactly. know, but, but let me kind but, of... But, but I'm very sure I'm not the only one that experienced that because if you go in a store like that... No, it's, it happens a lot. And, and, and then they're kids, so they'll knock into you, and no excuse me, no, it's like you're just not there. They, how dare we even say something Man, to you? Man, they dealing with the right one with me. And uh, Jonelle says, we run from ourselves and only to hug our 400-year-old and, um, and counting oppressive killers mm -hmm. that's still on their murderous, murder spree of us. Absolutely. I mean, like, why do we do that? Yes. Why? And then in some cases, justified and want to be validated mm -hmm. by it. Mm -hmm. And Charles says, I wish black women would withhold their coochie supply until, <laughs> until us black men get off our asses and lead. Black men get more emotional over a goddamn game and more loyalty to a sport team than getting passionate. Mm. Uh-oh, now, we might have to change the subject. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, get passionate over a racist NFL owner. These black Dallas Cowboy fans are more sickening. They uh, be saying we this and we that, but the fuck is Jerry Jones doing with the black community? But any franchise and college team we glorify and we, uh, we buy things and glorify and shed tears over a team of <laughs> a white Jesus. Let me hush. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm with you, brother. Amen. Amen. Can you notice how he singled out Dallas Cowboy yes. fans? And Dallas Cowboy fans, notice who's in the box with Jerry Jones. Bush. I'm like, I don't know because I don't want to. He's sitting up there with Bush and we're still fans. Hardcore. 
Can I ask you guys a question? Are we still boycotting? Because if we are, just yeah, say the word. Yeah, are we still boycotting? I don't know. Are we still boycotting? That's all I want to know. But yes, I agree with you, Charles, that women yes. um, who have coochie. some self-esteem and have some knowledge of self should not give that to just anybody. You hear that, Al? You might be getting cut off soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's like for real. We shouldn't be giving that to anybody. He said for real. <laughs> Al, get, you getting it, brother. Right. Al says, Donovan, will you please tell D who is Marshall Dillon and the Dodge City and what TV show that came from? Gunsmoke, the longest running uh, Western in TV history. Marshall Dillon, who was Mission Impossible's brother, older brother? Y'all see, when I was growing up, I wasn't allowed to watch all that TV, okay? We had to be doing something that was conducive to, um, well, if you relax to key, higher learning. If you were a latchkey kid, you should have plenty of time. Turn the channel 52. No, my mom and daddy go to the channel. You know, turn the channel, get these dishes done and his homework done. And, you know and you didn't do you and all to make and sure all this stuff is taken care of. You guys didn't do that until 15 minutes before mom was going to come through that right. door. Right, but I tell you, I, <laughs> Hey. And your mama looked at you most of the time because right. you were the oldest female. Exactly. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see, and, and Jonelle says, right, Donovan, we have, uh, I'm enjoying with uh, our youth with the BS, mm -hmm. come smoke this with granddad, yeah, mommy, and papa. papa. Yep. Ain't that some mess? Sad, sad. You know, wait, wait, wait. Why well, rather them do it here than oh, on the Oh, Lord, that is the it. stupidest thing I've ever heard. Because here I know what they doing, right. but you so, know what I So you, know. you would rather have him rape in the house than if he was <laughs> outside. <laughs> You know what I mean? about no raping in the well, house. What's the now? difference? You, you're teaching lawlessness. What's the point? Right, yeah. You, anything and goes on in the house? Yeah, yeah. They have them do it here. They I, go out I've there. heard that before. I'd rather them do it here at the house where I know they what they doing instead of being out there on the street with somebody else. And yeah, not good either, y'all. Uh, That's and, like voting for evil. It's still evil. Right. And Cindy, you're right. Why not teach them to not do those things, right? right? And Cindy says, the only thing Booker said that was true, Russia and white supremacists target um, us on social media, I mm -hmm. am in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. A month, I, I think it was. I was in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, a month ago, and was chilling with my sister and her family. And the amount of, uh, oops, almost blocked Cindy. Ain't that crazy? Let's see. Uh, because uh, when the thing pops up, it gives you these options. And the amount of group that I saw was completely different than the group I see here. And they know us better than us, which is why the man who was executed for dragging James Bird was mm -hmm. trending Friday. Oh, okay. He was, yeah, I didn't see it trending on Friday, but it, um, they executed him what, a couple months back. Mm -hmm. No, the three guys. Yeah, the, the one a couple months. The back. leader. They, yeah, the leader. There's one leader. more left. Oh, one more left. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. And then Al says, uh, and change the narrative when black people move into a new neighborhood. White people bring you a platter or a dish. And black people peek through the flies and say, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing on my lawn, nigga? Right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just don't bring me no casserole. Right, right. No mayonnaise and peas and all that in there. And Christopher put. says, come to Texas because you'll have 10 uh, behind him. Mm. Okay. Um, and then uh, Capri says, uh, bring it. I'll fight kids. T I mean, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm telling y'all, my daughter's like, calm down, mom. Don't, mom. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, I mean, don't, I mean, don't turn up. That, that's my pet peeve when people just act like I'm standing there and they just sit like you don't exist. It, it's and, just. And, 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 and I always tell them, then they go, oh, sorry. My dad has said this a long time ago. They said, yeah. and this is my dad, you know, ideology said back years ago. He said, Mexicans are the new nigga mm -hmm. and they don't want to be that. And right. so um, they want to pass black people, which they have, especially mm -hmm. in population and mm -hmm. group economics. They want to pass black people. I'm in every way, shape, or form, and even if that means I'll cut in front of you, you know, reach your arm all across you and stuff, and I say, excuse me, like I said, you mess around and catch these balls. Right, right, right. right. But unfortunately, we have a bunch of kids that have been pussified and let that stuff go on. All right, now, um, and Cindy says, if you can make me mad, you know me better than you, especially on, um, it said, on an uh, event, I think, that happened in uh, 1998 when we're acting like it was news. And what was that? And then, uh, 1998, and uh, Hey Secret Garden says, Rumble Royal, everyone fighting each other while the 1% laugh all the way to the bank. Yes. Absolutely, but I tell you what. Right, I'm, it's all a distraction. I mm -hmm. might fight you if you disrespect me. <laughs> or or uh, Secret Garden is kind of like this. Uh, D can multitask. 
Right. <laughs> she okay. can multitask. You know Some what? of us can multitask. My mom used to always tell me, you got your a temper <laughs> like your dad. Yes. I'm, a, I'm the most chill person ever, but when it comes to disrespect, oh my God, I'm telling you, I turn like into the Tasmanian devil. Wait a minute. Al told me. <laughs> when Al be, you know, then you got a little relations. You love to be disrespected. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> And he says, Al um, and Donovan, thanks for helping me understand being a gentleman. Talk about uh, the oh, other day. The other day, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Pay for it. And then Al says, tell your audience what Champ Bailey said at the NFL Hall of Fame ceremony about black men. Um, I, I, didn't I didn't watch, watch it. I didn't watch now, it. Uh, Al watched it. He said he was um, telling black men, um, and I'm paraphrasing if I'm right, uh, get up off your butt. Yes. Teach one, teach one. Mm -hmm. You know, reach out to the people who are next to you. Mm -hmm. and try to and mentor and teach them and that's really how it works so yeah um a, a real quick too um how many people guys have heard uh, there's another athlete that went broke which one yeah but no the, 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 this guy was uh i think it was a basketball athlete or no he's a football guy oh adrian peterson oh yeah went i was broke. telling you about that the other went day yeah broke yeah again another one Brothers, okay. That's Adrian the one that got trouble for beating his uh, little yeah, boy. Little boy. Yeah, boy. And then you know, with that stripper and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Stay out of these damn clubs. And <sighs> that's another show. I'm just saying. Once again, Tuesday maybe. Yes, another athlete, an elite athlete, has gone broke because who did he trust? Goldberg and Stein, as his accountants. I was gonna say that. <laughs> as his accountants, once again. You can trust the white man, but you can't trust the brother that's right next to you or whatever the deal is. How do you give somebody that you don't know that isn't a family member overall? Nah, brother. But they give the, the um, um, what's the basketball player, uh, Kevin Durant? Yeah. Um, and your LeVar Balls and right. all those cats. They get a lot of heat. Heat because their mama uh, yeah. managing them or their dad right. is managing. To, I'm glad you made that point. But with Adrian Peterson, and those kind of people yeah. have other people doing it, the other people doing it. Nobody says a word. word. Nobody says Nobody. a word. How do you give somebody car blanche access to your money and then you want to cry when they take it all? Right. Ah, oh, that's another show. You agree when somebody said yes. And then Cornelius, what's happening? He says, what are we boycotting? Are we still boycotting um, NFL. the NFL? Is that still a thing? Because I'm with it if we are. If Y'all let me know. And Charles says, it, it, it is heartbreaking. The drug academic here in Baltimore, heroin yes. is the main drug here. Every day, people uh, be nodding down. Uh, there is no school bus system here, right. so everyone uses mass transit. I definitely have yeah, my... Yeah, I was there. I saw it. I couldn't believe it. My jaw just dropped. He said, I definitely have my personal issues with substance abuse, but it bothers me that people are so far gone that they are high as fuck. Mm -hmm. White people um, getting threat, uh, treated as a medical issue. Yeah. Blacks getting criminal charges for their addiction. Well, you know, yeah. Joe Biden is supposed to be stopping all of that. Yes, yes. I did a show on that where it's talking about... Basically, Joe Biden, uh, go to my site, go to Demetra's site. Joe Biden basically is trying to reverse everything he did in the crime bill. Now, he's just saying that to get the nomination because once he gets there, I mean, well, he can reverse the burdens, but what about I'm, the actual stuff? Yeah, he's not going to do it because he's just an executive. He becomes president. You're just an executive. You don't make the laws. I mean, I'm saying, but what about the people who actually got harmed by those bills? Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's I like, reverse that. you know, you millions of people have been destroyed. Right. Well, oops. Right. And mostly black people, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, Charles said, white people, wasn't well, that the yes. Yes. Oh, We're going to throw millions yeah. and billions at it. Well, yeah, black people, yeah, we need that free prison labor. And by the way, Kamala ain't trying to let y'all ass yes, out. Yes, exactly. Even though <laughs> the evidence, you're right. going to hold the man in, in, in prison because the days to file, he missed. But you have evidence that he's innocent. Right. And? White supremacy. The L? And she said, I'm proud of my record. Right. Are you? I'm proud. Wow. And Cindy says, also, Donovan, close to 25 um, yes. years, just saying, with your owner talking about you will pledge the allegiance. Yes. It, it, it is a privilege. You doggone right. Jerry Jones got it right. Just like Bush said, if you're not with America's team, you're with the terrorists. Did Bush say that? Shut up. <laughs> well, something like that. Shut up. I mean, if you're not with us, you're against us. That uh, America's team? If you're not with America's team, you're against us. Al says, I haven't got any in a long damn time, but I am ambidextrous. <laughs> I think it's time. You started this. Yes, I think it's time. John L says, our ignorance got to stop running in the family so supreme being can be our mirror. Yeah. Al, that's where it starts and I'm it stops. talking about the man in the mirror. <laughs> I'm just... Thank you for that, Michael. <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it has to start at home, it does. right? It has. I'm not a drinker. I drink every blue moon. I can't drink. It does something to me. Yeah, we know. No, like, <laughs> no, it has to be all I just, I, I, I'm not a drinker, yeah, you know? Yeah, me neither. I'm not a drinker. And neither is my daughter. Mm -hmm. But, because she didn't. I mean, I'm sure she does socially, but she's about like me. Yeah, she didn't see why I'm knocking them back. Mm -hmm. You know, she didn't see me coming home. Oh, God, I got to have this glass right, of wine, right, child. Right. It's a hard day. Hey, don't worry, Charles. Uh, their daddies are coming to pick them up. Huh? Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> you stupid. Their daddies. Shut <laughs> up. Uh, and uh, Al says, yes, Demetra, come to touch You already have enough behind you. No <laughs> you are wild in today. And Cindy said, James Bird was killed. I, oh, you're talking about James Bird? Yeah, he was killed in 98, yeah, but his yeah. um, murder was executed, executed a couple months ago. Yes. Yeah, the first one was a couple years back, but then yes. the second one was a couple months ago, and there's a third one that's getting ready to get, get ready to I think he go. got life. Yeah, one of yeah, them got Yeah, I think he got life, life. yeah. And it's in, it's in Adrian Peterson is the one that you were talking about. Yeah, Adrian Peterson. And then you also say one wife, two kids, one house, two Toyotas. Like, how hard is that to do? No, I need to have a $400 million yacht. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm bringing home $10 million a year. Right. <laughs> but know? I'm in the strip club dropping you ain't 10, got Jeff Bezos money. Yeah, I'm dropping $10,000 a night in strip clubs. And, uh, you know, it's just better to tell your wife to put on some negligence. Yeah, wait. that's what I'm saying. Take that money home and say, honey. Right. <laughs> right. You know? Tonight, baby. Right. And, and you're guaranteed to get the VIP. Right. Keep the money in-house. That's, that's what, what I'm talking want. about. And Allison, Adrian Peterson also has six kids and five baby mamas. I know, that's what I'm saying. That is what you call an idiot. That, that Baby for 30 special came out how long ago? About six years ago? Yeah. And then Cornelius. And, and he hasn't watched it? Oh. And then everybody has the, uh, the idea that it ain't going to be me. Right. And Cornelius right. says, no, I'm not boycotting. And he says, as far as marijuana, whomever wins will legalize it. That uh, just going to happen. Happen. As far as other drugs are concerned, they're not changing anything. Exactly. And since they're closing us out in marijuana, you guys better jump on those marijuana stocks. That's what we've been telling you guys to do. Um, the I just Sprint, bought some more the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the Sprint T-Mobile merger. I was telling people to jump on stocks for that. Now it's been approved. It looked like it's going to go through. Got me some Sprint. Exactly. So that's how we're going to have to do it. There's other ways around uh, getting involved into these industries because they're closing us out at, at the front gate. Right. And then Jonelle says that was the right song, Man in the Mirror. Yes. yes. <laughs> there you go. Um, and then Charles, you said Des Bryant is going to be the next former pro athlete broke and washed up. Well, wasn't he broke when he was playing? Because he was stealing jewelry or something like that. They weren't. I don't know what it's But yeah, I hear you. Yeah, he, he's on his on the way. And Cornelius says, I joined late though, but I would like to hear y'all opinion on whether voting Democrat will help the black community or whether it. Oops. Mm -hmm. Or whether uh, it doesn't matter because you hear brothers and sisters saying it doesn't. Okay. Now, I'll let Donovan go ahead. Take that. For the last 60 years, we have been voting. Come on, so they can see your beautiful face. For the last 60 years, we've been voting Democratic. How's that worked out for us? That's my answer. Right, I mean, <laughs> we've been doing it. Have, yeah, what ball or bar has been moved? And so, you know, we, we talk about this quite a bit, especially being that it's election season. Mm -hmm. We know Democrats are going to try to, you know, re win the black vote. Well, right? not re win, they just expect to get it. Right. Um, well, now they have to win it because a lot of pe black people are like, nah, been well, there, done that. Well, right now we're fighting in the primaries. Right. But now, if it, uh, once they, we get a nominee, oh, yeah, they sure. automatically assume right. we're just going to give them our votes. And so, yeah, Colonel, you should always uh, hear this lie that. Our, our ancestors died for our right to vote. They didn't die specifically just for the right to vote. They died so we can go in the voting po um, booth and move the bar and, and actually, make a decision. Yeah, and actually get some and actually do something. It didn't stop like, well, they got in the polls, great, our job is done. No. As Donovan said, what have we done? What major legislation or anything has been passed in regards to black people since then? Yeah, we got, so we've always had the right to vote. They just passed the um, civil rights movement the, the, um, to protect our right to vote because we know it's a vote suppression and all that. We had the right mm -hmm. to vote what, in the 1800s, yep. late at, you know, after slavery and stuff. Mm -hmm. But that's really the that I can think of the um, most major recent piece of legislation or anything um, to benefit black people. And the civil rights, voters' rights thing wasn't even, if you think about it, specifically for black people. Mm -hmm. It was for anybody who was disenfranchised. Yeah, it encompassed everybody. Yeah. And we have to stop 
attaching ourselves to other people who don't stand up for us. And so to the, your latter um, question, does it matter um, on a local and state level? It, it matters, matters locally. It matters. But federally? Nope. I mean, what Gore is Gore versus Bush. I mean, Donovan's point since, you know, eight, 1965, which is a very long time mm -hmm. ago, we've had presidents from um, all parties. Uh, parties. What have any of them done for black people? Nothing specific. And that's not to say that black people, and I don't see any more comments, that's why I'm um, belaboring the point, but not to say that black people can't do anything for ourselves, but those people have done things for everybody else. Black people are the only one, group of people to not demand that if you get our vote, you must do something for us. Everyone else has gotten a piece of the pie but us. And we are the ones that, like we say this time and time again, Democrats cannot win anything without black people. They cannot. Right. And, 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 and you got to understand this. And Kamala Harris about her parents were civil rights people. Her parents did not come here until the heavy lifting was done. All these Africans and Caribbean people, Joy Reeds and whatever, they did not come here until after hundreds of thousands of us have died. We went through the Jim Crow. We went through the um, uh, slavery? Reconstruction. Oh. We went through the slavery. We did the work, but they come here and took advantage of what was supposed to be for us. Because I right. ask yourself that if you think I'm lying, ask yourself this. Oh, brother, we are our brothers from Africa. But if you go to one of their parties, or if they invite you, if you even get an invite, they will be the first to tell you, oh, you are not of the Ibu tribe. You are not of such and such a uh, country. That they're going to tell you that. Kamala Harris, she doesn't even identify as a black woman. Doesn't even identify. Well, she does now. Well, in general. She does now because she's running for president. But you, you see that article when she first won uh, yeah. the uh, Attorney General of Senate, yeah. American Indian woman. Indian woman, and exactly. Like that's a fact. She identified as an, the first Indian woman to win uh, the nomination or right. to be Her elected Attorney to the General. Senate. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and all of that kind of stuff. Yep. And so now, you know, she's identifying as a black woman. And a lot of these people come here, and God bless them. They come here and, and they they take on our struggle, which to me is very offensive. And then they get to their level, and then they don't do nothing for us at this level. Thus, we get a Kamala Harris. Yeah, and so, you know, and I don't see any more comments other than Al that I'm not going to be. <laughs> um, you know, if you guys, a lot of you guys have talked about this the other day, saw the debate. Um, Ate her lunch You know, in because there's a lot of black people who will want to vote for Kamala because she's, I, she's a woman. She, we got to vote for her. She, a woman's going to solve all these problems. A woman is the way to go. You vote for Kamala. It doesn't matter. She locked up my son. It doesn't matter. Kamala, 2020. Look what she did to those people in, in California. <laughs> Kept people in prison. And it took the Supreme Court to release them. That's who I want. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I'm just saying. You got women that are supporting this woman. If y'all saw what I saw. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. You got women that will still vote for this woman who put their sons, uncles, you fathers, and sweat. daughters in jail because their kids were a truant. You know, didn't care what the facts were. And to Donovan's point, I'm assuming he was mimicking a black woman who's voting for yes. Kamala. Mm -hmm. Black women are now, and it's a fact, and it's been said, I read an article and a couple articles before, that black women are the backbone of the Democratic Party. Black women love to be mentally masturbated. They love it. <laughs> when, when are y'all going to get that nut? Shut up, Donovan. <laughs> I'm just saying. Cornelius says, I never believe in Harris any, everything. That yes. was said this week, uh, this past week about her. I've been uh, saying for months, who would um, you all support if you voted for uh, in the primary? I'm an Andrew Yang guy. I like Yang. Um, I like Warren, and I like Marianne Williamson. I know that Yang is not uh, necessarily saying I'm. Um, he's for reparations for Black right. people. However, he does have the universal basic income, which is a thousand dollars a help. month. For Everybody. every American 18 and over, that well, that's a form of reparations. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I know a thousand dollars extra a month would be, hey, it'd yep. be all right with me, yep. you yep. know. And that's a game changer for a lot of people. There's, you know, a lot of let's say um, people, uh, parents 
the mom is working. I'm one of those traditional ones mm -hmm. in that I believe that the mom should be home, but that's yeah. a whole other argument. A mom is working, they're paying daycare. That thousand dollars can be the difference of her staying home and raising her babies. Or, 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 or let's say you have, uh, I'm married and I got two kids. That's four thousand dollars a month. That could be the Keep difference doing. of, you know, I say Donovan and I getting a thousand dollars a month. We save that thousand dollars a month for a year. Mm -hmm. What is that? That twenty-four thousand dollars yeah. between the both of us. We can start a business, yes. yo. Yes. You know. Or th or th or have the biggest strip club party ever. Not my money. <laughs> uh, you know, but I, but I, but, you know, but notice, you think the Democrats? Yeah. Stupid ass. But, 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 but you think the Democrats would take up Andrew Yang's thing? Yeah. As a part of the platform right. across the board. Right. No, but they don't want that because the Democrats are no different than the Republicans. And the reason why I know the Democrats don't want him overall because he talks about giving every American democracy dollars in that everybody gets a certain amount of, every American gets mm -hmm. a certain amount of dollars who can vote and they can contribute those dollars to whatever candidate they want, um, getting rid of the lobbyists yes. and the people who actually get what they want because right. they have the money. Get mm -hmm. rid of that whole system no, altogether. No, yeah, they don't want that. And I tell you, it's laughing at you. <laughs> and Timmy says, I uh, still think it will be Biden and Warren. Um, I definitely yeah. know that it will be. Yeah, there are three I, I people. Be Biden. There are three people: Biden, Warren, or Kamala. That is who they're pushing. Right. And they're 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 trying to make sure everybody stays on message with those three. That but is, isn't um, Biden and Warren kind of opposites in their ideology as they far are. as um, she wants to completely wipe away student debt? Absolutely, day. absolutely. And they definitely don't want Bernie to get it because right. Bernie's going to disrupt the whole system. Capri says Donovan is hilarious. I love it. This stuff tell me he missed his calling. This dude is crazy. Uh, and Cornelius says, uh, Harris is going to lead us astray. I don't want to see her run for yes. vice with any of the other. Uh, they ain't going to have her. No. Other candidates. Everything Donovan is saying, I've been saying for months. Yes. Uh, absolutely. Go. I mean, but again, to you know, his point about black women, they say we are um, the backbone of the Democratic Party. We make things happen. Doug Jones. We got Doug Jones in the office. And, but, uh, it, but it's like, if we're the backbone, what are we, like, since we are the backbone, how come we're not uh, uh, demanding something? Exactly where I was going to go. Right Why there. are we saying, well, since child, honey, child, honey, boo-boo, yeah, we're the backbone. Right, right, and since you're the backbone, and, and right now you control Congress, since you're the backbone of the Democratic Party, why don't you make Nancy Pelosi do her job or and introduce legislation to stop? Well, she's currently in Africa with um, Ilhan Omar. Oh, uh, yeah. But but you guys are the backbone, so you guys are, 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 are yeah. running stuff. Let, let's get some laws running. I mean, I agree. I, I, hey, I, we're not even just the, uh, the uh, black women in Congress or whatever um, in Washington. They're talking about black women in general. No, that's what I'm saying. Since, since yeah. you guys are the backbone, y'all ain't doing shit. But laying on your back. Ah, uh -huh. just taking it. Just taking it. Got it. No Vaseline. Cindy says, so I think Yang is good, but I have no, but um, he thinks that he has no chance. No, he doesn't have a chance, but I would rather give my, give my vote for somebody that, that's willing to give me something versus somebody who ain't promising me nothing. Yeah, and Yang, he, I mean, he backs all his stuff up. He's not just up there saying, well, you're going to have to wait and see about it. And, and here's the thing. Yang being an Asian, do you think he's going to have a problem making the monetary uh, for the next thing? <laughs> No, he's gonna make it. Oh yeah. Because his community. Yang gang. Yeah. You think that, that, that everybody's that sleeping people. on this guy. The Yang gang. He doesn't yeah. have no chance this time, but wait till next. I mean, like I said, I like I like Yang. I really do. And then um, Al says, I'm not reading that one either. And then Hunter <laughs> says that's a start. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Tay says Andrew Yang made a good point in separating work and your health insurance. Create a public option and take, take the burden off the employer. employer. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. See, that's what I'm saying. He backs his stuff up with mathematics. Right. He says, I'm the math Logic. guy. Logic. You know, mm -hmm. it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Instead of giving a whole lot of puffery, oh, well, we're going to do this. Oh, yeah, we can make it happen. You know, Kamala's going to give, what is it? Uh, some I forget. No! <laughs> you, do something for black people? No! <laughs> Are you kidding? Right, so Kamala, 
she says things, but it doesn't make any sense. It makes you know? no sense. Like the, you can use your light when you pay your light bill. That you can use that as a credit. That's a credit. They'll attach that to your, you know, your credit report. Kamala Harris, in my opinion, is a Hillary type person. She is seeking power. She got the no, hot sauce in her bag. Yeah, bed. no matter right. what she has to do, she, she's side piece Harris. I mean, if I gotta fuck this dude, I'm gonna fuck him. Yeah, he's 60 years old and his he's gotta take the blue pill, but I can take it. I can go a couple hours with him. If I gotta lock up a bunch of poor people and black people, sure, I'll do that too. Whatever it takes. Right. Hot sauce in the bag. Yeah. And Cindy says, Donovan, I'm going to be uh, going to the strip club tonight. I see our fourth reverend Donovan. <laughs> he always talking about the nasty kid. He ain't nasty going kid. no damn No, 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 no. I am too smart to be just throwing my money away and getting nothing in return. <laughs> That's the problem that being in the club picking the dollars back. Right. Up. I got it on the string. Yeah, you <laughs> recycling the dollars. Right. Don't be fooled, okay? Cheap entertainment ass when we, Yeah, look, when they talk about make it rain, I throw my bottle on them, a bottle of water. Here you go. And yeah, he throw some coins yes. at them. <laughs> yeah, nickels. Right. <laughs> so I said Sprint and T-Mobile down that um, down uh, neoliberal corporate Democrat Bill Clinton 1996 Telecommunications yep. Act deregulation of Wall Street is three strike three strikes crime bill and massive expansion of. Uh, See, here's somebody who knows what's going on. Uh huh. That, that's Bernie Sanders' guy. Mm -hmm. um, massive expansion of. I'm getting it. Uh, uh, don't laugh. I'm sorry. Uh, expansion of the private printing industry, 1993. Yep. NAFTA uh, disseminated uh, American manufacturing. 50 years yep. uh, trickle down economics by Republicans mm -hmm. and corporate Democrats have only benefited the corporate states of America, yep. the 1%. Folks, we are committing political, social, economic suicide by voter republic corporate democrats in 2020 democrat primary is the only um one we should vote for more most progressive candidate and that is bernie sanders of course after the dnc shit him i will support the green party candidate the green party candidate is 35 or 40 states mm -hmm. so the green can amass 270 electoral votes mm -hmm. needed to win the bottom line is the establishment of two-party evil system and media supports the corporate Democrats and Republicans. <laughs> Woo! Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, that, that, that's it in a nutshell right there. Yeah, Donovan that's always it. talks about that, mm -hmm. how basically there's um, the, the same people, you know. The same a lot people. of, uh, I don't care what nobody says, Kamala is really a Republican. Yes, she's a Republican. She is a conservative like a mug. She's just doing it under the, you know, the helm of being a Democrat, but nah. Just like Dianne Feinstein. Yeah, like Dianne she's Feinstein. really a Republican. Mm -hmm. Don't be fooled by that bar, okay? Mm -hmm. And then Cindy says Bernie Sanders, uh, Bernie has no chance. Cindy no, says Harris um, to the D, uh, Department of Justice. Yeah, uh, Harris is done. Her record is going to, you know, she's done because she can't refute that I don't record. know if I would want to see her at the Department of Justice. Uh, they're probably going to put her there, right. but, you know, and then make her that promise that they've been Hillary after she got whacked by Obama. Right. And just, hey, we're going to get you next time. You know, right now, your people are too awoke and right. we can't run you. Right. But her record, as far as uh, moving forward for the nomination, she's done. Done. She's done. Done. And Charles says, yes, Bernie Sanders do, do have a chance. And Tate says, Warren is coming out here with an actual plan with facts and figures Biden isn't really saying anything. Unfortunately, Williamson hasn't really put forth any real plans outside of her talking uh, points during the debate. I know everything you said is absolutely correct. Um, uh, Biden but, is running but, on pretty. Right, but Warren also said, they said, hey, what about that uh, that check? What did she say? What check? Oh, in the beginning. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. what check? I mean, to me, I can't trust these people when, when they do that because in the beginning she said that that's how she really feels. That's how a person really feels. You know, if you gotta push them in and mangle their head to right. get them to go to a position, you know, was, their heart's not in it. But as a black mm -hmm. person, I like Marianne Wilson because she. No, I like is, her, but I'm talking about. Lauren. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, because she's like, and this is my talking mm -hmm. point: reparations. Right. You know, what gives you the right to get the numbers? Where did you get your numbers from? Okay, Don Lemon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And Al says, it's Tulsi Gabbard from Oklahoma, no pun, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and he also said, with the thousand dollars a month, I hope Andrew is not talking that yin yang. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, right? And Charles says, replying to Tate, not true. Bernie Sanders' economic platform is addressing climate change and implementation of Green New Deal with a federal jobs guarantee, federally funded and locally administered Medicare for all single payer system. Uh, transforming America to clean, renewable energy, and getting America off of fossil fuels. Yes, think about this. 
But you know what I didn't see in your um, talking points for Bernie? Reparations. Reparations. Right. Um, <laughs> um, and, and think about this. Four years ago, when Bernie, you know, kind of, he's been on the scene for a long time, but when he came on the national scene, people were like, wow, this guy's. Nobody has picked up Hillary's talking points. A corporate Democrat? Knows right. Nobody's talking where Hillary's talking to you. Where is Hillary? They, they're still talking Bernie Sanders stuff. Right. True. Everybody, you know I mean? yeah, you're, you're right. You know what I mean? So, right. what, what does that tell you? What's up, Amon? He says, um, did, did not keep it away, the Democrat. Democratic or Republican, white supremacy, racism is a system that all white folks participate or support. I would say all white folks, brother. But a yes. lot of them do. That's a woman. Oh, I'm sorry. A, yes. lot of them, a lot of them do. Not all, but a lot of them yes. do. At the end of the day, ninety-eight point two percent. Damn. <laughs> ah. uh, yeah, they're gonna be on the home team regardless. Yes. And we need to learn how and, to do that. And and you know, and, and you're right by saying that because who put Trump in office? Your homegirls? White girl, white women. I'm for and Hillary. And they gonna do it again. Yeah, look. I'm for Hillary. Trump. You're right. You see how um, uh, uh, Trump had to look at Melania. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Hit start. You better hit that. Go ahead and just yeah. vote for Hillary. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, and Cindy says, I just went to, uh, to both watch parties last week. Mm. I live in a uh, purple country. A county, uh, rather. Mm, county. Uh, the uh, Republicans wanted Pelosi to impeach Trump. They were going to use it in 2020. They wanted, they want Sanders to win. Yep. Um, easy win out of the top four. The DNC wants a Biden Warren alliance. Yes. Well, you got to think about this. Remember when Hillary was running? Before she had even announced in 2000, they were the Republicans were like, yeah, we're, we're getting ready for Hillary. That's who's going to be the next nominee. They want. Yeah. I mean, they kept calling her out like, yeah, Hillary. And then Obama won. They were like, damn, what happened? Right. And then now. When when she ran again, which was stupid of the Democrat, the Democrats to put her up. Right. They were ready for her. She has a thirty something year record. Right. That isn't consistent. Unlike Bernie, who has a thirty something year record, he's been consistent. Right. True. And I see the Bernie says you got to use what you got to get what you want. Mm, Hashtag man. Players Club. Senator Harris, hold your head high. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not mad at the at the at the side. I just want my turn. Take it, shake your money maker. That's it. Hey. I just want my turn. Hey, I, JJ. I heard she does that magical thing with her tongue. JJ says she's mad. Yeah, she's big mad. Mm -hmm. uh, Been exposed. She was that wasn't supposed to happen. She was supposed to be the the the, uh, the, the one delivering the haymakers up yeah. there. You know, talking tall yeah. and walking tough. You know, Joe Biden's supposed yeah. to be shaking in his boots. Mm -hmm. Take it easy on the kid. <laughs> right. right. And then here comes Tulsi Gabbard with the you know the sucker punch. Yep. Like, That's it. That's it. And then the, and then she's gonna smear Tulsi Gabbard a soldier. Well, it's not, it's not like Tulsi Gabbard got a squeaky clean record. No, 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 she does. She's a pop just like everybody else. Right. But the point is, she is a soldier. She went to Afghanistan twice. How do you smear somebody and call them a Russian bot? You know, I take offense to that because, let's see, uh, Kamala, did you serve in the military? Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, matter of fact, you were raised in I Canada. Mean, I didn't take offense to oh. somebody get to, um, being mad at her. You know, she's a soldier when she's locking people up, talking about we need some free labor. Right, exactly. Uh, oh, no, we can't let these right. inmates out. We can't let this right. labor go. Wait, she's talking about Russian bot, and you were raised in Canada? You talking about a Russian bot? Right. You weren't even raised in the United States? And Sidney says, like Trump was really a Democrat before 2012. Yeah, yeah he, was. he was. He still is. Right. He still is. At, listen, at the end of the day, Trump is a salesman. He is going to get the money, whether you got to be a Democrat or Republican, exactly. whatever way is going to let him do that. If you guys on the podcast, we'll talk to you next yeah, week. week. And then uh, Sydney says, Marianne Williamson is my candidate. I like hey, it. Like I said, exactly. I got three people I, I can go in the booth for, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, and then Sydney says, Williamson was on Bill Maher, and yeah, That's I right. had to tap uh, um, out on her. Oh, so was, she, <laughs> was she doing the most? Uh, uh, Al, you watch it. What happened with that? And uh, Al says, Kamala should sit on San... <laughs> Cindy says, "Here's the issue: the Democrats are falling into, uh, you said, are falling into the, the Trump. Trump. Mm -hmm. I mean, my thing is though, they got some powers. What's taking them so long to do anything? Anything. So what? You, I mean, they call president the president of tweeting, but they're doing that for tweeting. All my condolences goes out to the, the victims of the right. shootings. Okay, do something. Do something. Do something. You know. And then Charles says, Pocahontas, Elizabeth Warren." Mm -hmm. A $5 Indian ripping off our Native American brothers and sisters. Shame on Warren riding on Bernie's coattail. Yep. 
Absolutely. Well, she said, I saw her talk about it at Breakfast Club that she thought her family told her that they were Indian and stuff, so she thought it was, and then did the test, and it turned out she wasn't. Oh, what a surprise. Let's look at you. I mean, but would she be the first white woman to lie about exactly. she be a Kardashian lie about being black women all the time? Ain't nobody mad with them. Well, it, it, it's like Trump talking about he's from originally from somewhere. That guy comes from, from dirt Compton. poor. Yeah, he's from dirt poor somewhere in Europe, like one of the worst type of people in Europe. Right. So. But um. And Tay says uh, Gabbard is a Russian bot. She is hanging out with a sod. Tulsa can kick rocks. Okay. Hey, hey, that Tay's in the military yes. was military yes. too, so she could say something. Absolutely, no, exactly. I'm not, I'm not going to dispute uh, Tay's thing. Yet she hung up with Assad, but Trump is hanging out with Kim Jong Un. Trump is hanging out. And Kim Kardashian. Right. <laughs> Trump is hanging out with Putin. Right. What? Okay. You know, we could go back and forth. Whatever. And, and a mama says, "What does the shirt say?" The shirt says. My Aunt Girl Summer. Aunt okay, girl and as I explained earlier, um, it's the play on words with uh, Megan Thee Stallion, um, Hot Girl Summer, where again, everybody's running around talking about they having Hot Girl Summer, which nobody can really define what that is. Megan Thee Stallion is a rapper. She talks about her lower regions a lot, and, you know, she's scantily clad. You know, she's a city yeah, girl type of, stank. you know, uh, watered down Trina type of, you know, rapper. Mm -hmm. No shade to her. That's the best way I can explain it to her. So my aunt is... Um, a play on words, like I said, my aunt um, is the goddess of law and order, equity, balance, righteousness, um, and just doing the right thing, being moral, ethical, and all those things. And so I thought I'll, you know, change it around. So I'm having a mod. Exactly. There you go. Um, did you, you can have one too for 1999. No, no, 1995. <laughs> uh, um, did you look into my thing about Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays? I'm willing to share. Oh, he's talking to you about it. <laughs> yeah, That's some side deal stuff. Y'all got wrong. And Charles says, uh, Bernie kicked ass at the debate. I wrote the damn bill. That's, That's right. Said. I wrote the damn bill. I wrote bill. the damn bill. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't get me started. I love that man. But I can't vote for him. See, we didn't put down reparations. Ah. And Cornelius says, I think 45 and the Republicans would like to see Kamala win the primary because Kamala will be light work, man. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And I'm glad you said that. Because a lot of people say, you know how we do, do Cornelius? Oh, yeah, she's not going to let Trump out talk her. Or oh, she'll eat his lunch. Or oh, she just, she going to give it back to her. Come on. Trump's going to be like, get on your knees. Just like he did in that debate. It will be a walk in the park yep. for him. And he's got, like, yeah, who was it? I can't remember who it was. I just signed um, a civil, I just signed a, civil, uh, a, a, a mass incarceration uh, bill. You locking motherfuckers up. Oh, it was Uncle Luke. A while back, that says Kamala is going to have to explain why she has a worse record on crime as far as black people yep. than Trump does. Exactly. And so that's why, one mm -hmm. of the main reasons why he has said, they say, well, dog walk her, because mm -hmm. he's got so much information. Right. You, you're just a black a, woman, but you harm black yeah. people. I just signed a prison re reform bill. I, and letting black people out, out of prison. So. Right. You, you kept motherfuckers in, and they were innocent. For cheap prison labor. Yeah, and some of them were innocent. Right. On death row. Right. You kept them in on death row. <laughs> right. Uh, Sydney says, wait, but where were you when Trump said, I know better than the generals? Oh, no, no. We, we knew that was bullshit. I don't let a draft dodger that says his Vietnam was uh, avoiding venereal diseases. Hang. He actually said that in an interview. Well, don't. That's why he didn't go well, to Vietnam. Well, he was speaking because he knew that he couldn't control himself. Hence all these lawsuits and stuff by grabbing people by the peas and stuff. Right. But at the end of the day, Al, yes. Yeah. Um, and then Sydney says, like black men and women saying they have an Indian and have an Indian in them. Yeah. I got high cheekbones. So I must be right, a Right, right. You know, my great granddaddy yeah. was, you know, he was right. Indian. Right. What kind of high, slap a hole? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went there. <laughs> I'm uh. just kidding. Uh, and Cindy says, don't let a hot girl summer turn you into needing a shot. <laughs> don't let a hot a girl summer. Out. Don't let a hot girl summer leave you with a winner, baby daddy. That's it. Okay? That's it. Right. So we're going to have a my hot girl summer. How mm -hmm. about that? And uh, Tay says, Megan Thee Stallion has her degree in healthcare administration and has started writing her first script. She's a uh, very intelligent woman. Don't sleep on her just because her lyrics. You know what? I did know that about Megan Thee Stallion. However... I'm a judge her off of the, the image yes. she's portraying. Because when I see Megan Thee Stallion, I don't see her um, talking about those things as much as... I mean, I've heard some of her lyrics, so I'm like... I saw her on TV. I had to turn the channel. I'm like, like, why are you... 
you, you have these things going on. Obviously, like it's the Cardi B syndrome. When she says, well, if talking about the P sales, then that's what I'm going to talk about. But Megan Thee Stallion is a very influential girl. I mean, she's got people running around talking about having a hot girl summer. You know, I'm sure she means it for positive, but there's a lot of people, um, women who are thinking, you know, something of the contrary. And so I would rather hear more of those things about her than the the disgusting things that she talks about. I mean, See, but that doesn't sell the positive. I get it doesn't sell, mm -hmm. but not that I'm sleep on Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion is sleep on herself. Those are the things that she should be talking about, what? especially to our black when, young When are girls. we going to get back to the X clan and the positive stuff? You know, we're talking about some you're are doing you some stuff. Most people don't even know what an X clan is or was because of Grand you know, verbalizer, what time is no, it? No, they don't know. <laughs> they don't know. Like every song, because my daughter is of the millennial generation, she listens to that stuff. Mm. She's intelligent, but she still yeah. listens to it. And I'm like, honestly, it's just different people saying the same Things, stuff right like you know my she, coochie stank and you're gonna get the bag she's a bop she gonna you know mm -hmm. give me some head that and that, 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 mm -hmm. it's like i want you guys to know that dimitri won't tell you guys this but back in 1989 at rcc bdp and public enemy came to the college Demetra put on her army beret her black glasses she got up there with the s1w's and was stepping Stepping hard. <laughs> Stepping After hard. Actually, was my very first concert. My yeah. dad was working security detail for the Nation of Islam, and we got to go backstage and meet everybody. It was dope. <laughs> I mean, she was stepping with him. Look at that one up here. He was in there. Had the right. combat boots, everything. <laughs> uh, and Quiet Issa, he says, voting for what? Right. Now, again, you tell me. Again, if you're not going to get nothing for your vote, you shouldn't vote. Go ahead and say that out, brother. Like I said, if I'm not going to get something, I'm, I'm going to send it out to you. Now, you confused about my shirt? Google, my aunt. My aunt. It's, 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 it's like seven, uh, 42 laws of being, which the Bible ripped off for its Ten Commandments. You know, it's the do's and the don'ts. You know, um, be good, don't steal. Yeah, don't it's like Leviticus cheat. in the Bible. Yeah, right. it's, just a, yeah it's just a bunch of laws of being righteous. Mm -hmm. um, what to eat, uh, what, how to yeah, keep yourself clean. All of that yeah. stuff. Don't eat more. And I was like, that was one that kind of I need to follow. <laughs> don't eat more than your share. Right. Because I'm greedy. Okay, our next summer is going to say oh, greedy girl summer. Uh, and Cindy says, my aunt, yes, M-A. This is a bunch of spellings on it, but this is the one that, that you'll see the most. M-A with the little, um, what is that? Um, what do you call that thing? I got hyphen. a math. A, a, hyphen. Not a hyphen, it's something else. I got a master's degree and I forget yeah. what it's called. Um, M-A thing, A-T. Right. <laughs> my aunt. Um, cool. Or people can say, um, May I? Yeah, it's all right, but yeah. my aunt is how it's normally said. Um, but Google it. Um, you'll learn a lot. And it, uh, you know, and the funny thing is they have these shirts that do that, right? Now, D's a little bit endowed there. It's, you know, you want to read it, but you don't want to be disrespectful. No, I don't hate you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you know what I mean? <laughs> they don't think about that when they be making these shirts. Hey, it is what it is. You can't, <laughs> yeah. hey, can't, yeah. can't hide what you was born with. And Tay says, also, she is working on opening health care centers for the elderly. Yeah, I Very, heard about that. Yeah. Okay, I'd like to hear more stuff Get about that. Get ready for that. the lawsuits, because somebody's going to sue her. You know, maybe, I don't know, maybe she's using this as a way to, to earn income to do that. I still, I, like, I'm not, I'm, Tay, I, I get it, but I'm not giving those people a pass anymore, because... I, I, I'm fairly educated, I would think. I don't hear a lot about those things. So you know these little girls who are trying to have a hot girl summer aren't hearing Hear a lot those about things. those things. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to go off of the image that she is portraying. So, yes, it's great and it's lovely and it's nice Honestly. that she's doing those things. But that's not what she projects the most. Right. So um, I just got to go with what she gives me. Now, and speaking of... Not uh, that I even listen to her stuff. And speaking of Miss Shantae... She put up this hot picture of her in the 90s. Oh, I saw it. It was cute. Yeah, yeah. cute. <laughs> got a little midriff showing yeah. where that shirt was. I was yeah. like, what? Look at yeah, this. It's hottie. Yeah. Okay. And Charles said, Trump is selling weapons to terrorist states, Saudi Arabia, and Zionist Israel, who are responsible for the controlled demolition of the World Trade Center and Building 7. So on Dick Cheney. Um, yay orders mm -hmm. um, to fire that missile into the Pentagon on 9 11. Yep. And whose com uh, com company? Made the most money. Halliburton. Yes. Dick Cheney was the exactly. uh, president and the chairman at that time. Wait. Non-bid contracts. Connect the dots. Non-bid. Connect that the means dots, only his company gets 
get the, your tax dollars. Right. Connect the dots. The city says, waiting for the video of him having a high girl summer rushing the style. <laughs> <laughs> and Amanda says, yeah, you are judged by what you put out there. Now that's, she's got somebody's ear. Let's see what she, uh, what she, what say she now. says now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree with that. that. That's the image that she gives us. I mean, I, listen. I was on the scene back in the 80s and the 90s, but you know, back then, rap was more conscious. Positive, Listen, yeah. to women didn't necessarily do that stuff until you had the little cams and people like that come along, but the rap was conscious. Women had clothes yep. on, they MC were saying Life something. was out there running with the guys. Right, you know, but around. now it's just garbage, garbage. And they all sound the same. Garbage. They all, all sound, sound the, same. the same. They look the same. Which is not really shame on them as much as shame on us that our frequency we see is so low. No, our kids' frequency. Our, yeah, that they're so low that that we put so much money in their pockets. You know, there's a rapper that uh, my daughter discovered. Um, she was on looking on the computer one day called Coda the Friend. I think it's C T A, no C O T A, the Friend. He is dope, like very conscious of everything. No, I, no, I'm he sure. Has, I'm just saying. I just don't like his his moniker, but he calls himself Coda the Friend. I mean, they're all. You know, I'm the weekend. What, what is all this well, what stuff? What do you want to be? Coda the dope dealer? Well, no. I mean, Coda the pee, the pee grabber? No, how about Coda the cola? <laughs> I don't know. They but... says, I need photos. Demetra, where are the photos? Uh, 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 photos of what? Oh, uh, uh, oh me at the uh, PE? You know, I'm one of those people that just kind of mm -hmm. be caught up in the moment. I have a shirt they're, that they're, got autograph. I don't know what happened. Yeah, like, I'm bad. Yeah, yeah. There is like an that. old VHS tape, but those tapes have been popping and the heat and the <laughs> Right, know. right. And so. Cindy says, um, wait, sex sells. We forgot the pusher, man. We forgot about Rick James. And listen, I ain't listen. I'm not saying that this is new. Okay? I'm saying that it is the norm now. Rick James, you know. I mean, they still was kind of undercover with it. Yeah, Prince. I yeah, mean, they didn't say, you know, I want to beat it up. And, right. you know, at least I don't think they did. Now it's just, it's, it's normal. Like, right. I don't ever want to see another kid singing no nasty lyrics. Yeah, well, Rick James did, didn't get into chaining a woman up and holding her as a sex slave <laughs> until years <laughs> later. That was years later. I mean, yeah, Ice-T. <laughs> yeah. Ice-T was still an anomaly, you know. Darlene, um, yeah. the hottest thing out of the IE. From IE, e, baby. Yes, Corona. Um, she still looks right. Good. I mean, those, those were anomalies back then. You know, now it's the opposite way around. Now that's the norm. Yeah, you know, finding a rapper that keeps her clothes on. Damn. Right. Yeah. You know, and uh, like I'm sick of seeing women running around in onesies. And Charles says all black and brown people are the aboriginal of the earth, especially here in America. We have been exploited out of our birthrights mm -hmm. by Europeans. Cornelius says women with influence in the hip hop community is a completely different conversation. Yeah. Women with power, period, and their messages is a lot of work to do to be done in the community. Absolutely. Yep, but uh, talk to Aunt, Aunt Maxine. Maybe go to Aunt Maxine. I'm just saying, I mean, uh, what's the girl, uh, sh uh, him, <laughs> Sherry Lee, whatever, down from Houston? All these people. They're enriching themselves. They're not there to enrich the community. We put a video up explaining the difference. Right. Mm -hmm. And Charles says, D is thick, quote unquote, in a good way, Ma. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I, I need to get a little bit on the thin side. Um, and uh, Tay says, Did y'all see the Ivanka got a trademark approved for voting machines? Wow, I didn't know that. I'm going to have to look that up when I got the show. Do we really want to be voting in those machines? Hey. And Al says, uh, my aunt, you so stupid, <laughs> oh, my aunt girl game, um, have you explaining the shirt all summer? Good! <laughs> That's the purpose of sparking conversation. What does my aunt mean? Right. See? You mm -hmm. learn something when you mm -hmm. come up to me. Yeah. You know? That's the point. I think it says, Charles going to make Al flip. <laughs> Al, Al already know Charles. Charles ain't saying nothing nobody knows. Right, right. <laughs> um, and Al says, Code of the Friends should, sounds worse than Chucky A, that terrible rapper Arsenio the <laughs> Oh, yeah, Chucky A. Uh, what was the name of the song? God, um, it was produced by uh, Larry YouTube, Blackman, a cameo. YouTube his stuff, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this dude is... Chunky A. Uh, he's really, really good. Mm -hmm. I, I, when I listened to it, I was like, I feel hopeful about hip hop. Because I love hip hop. I was very hopeful. Yes. Like, wow. And we even looked to see uh, if he was in concert, but the tickets were sold out. Mm-hmm. So anyway, I don't see any more comments, you guys. Um, we are going to get out of here. I'm starving like Marvin. Um, and I know you guys are probably too. So thank you so much for having this yes. conversation with us. 
YouTube. Uh, thank you for joining. If you got to the end, please subscribe. If you like what you see here, um, leave us any comments or uh, concerns or mm -hmm. suggestions, things we can do better as you guys normally do. Also, to you guys on Facebook, thank you so much for joining us in this conversation. Again, if you have something you guys want us to talk about, just let us know. We'll do the homework. It get kind of hard sometimes trying to think of stuff to say. I know you guys don't want to talk about voting all the time, although we are in election season, so we'll probably talk about voting a oh, lot. But it affects you. If there's something else you want to talk about, just let us know. We'll do it. That's what we do, right? We're not always right. We're not always right, but we're not always wrong either. So together we will figure it out. Anyway, I don't see any more comments. I thank you guys. Please enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Check out Tay's picture. I'm talking about a hottie. <laughs> a Maari. Yes. yes. She's a Maari. <laughs> yeah. I'm a coin that don't steal it. I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, you guys. Peace. See you next week.